Hello everyone, this is Ominous Haunter, and welcome back to another video where today I'll be doing another Ominous review, and this will be on the 2019 Keiji the Clown prop from Morris Costumes. This review will be based off of five factors, and those five factors are the appearance of the prop, the durability of the prop, the fear factor, the movement, and of course the price. So let's get straight on with the appearance of Keiji the Clown. Starting with his head, this is the Keiji's head, which is the one made out of latex, and you can see uh, the detail that went into his face. It looks really, really nice. Here is the top of his head. His forehead has like some cracks in it, uh, possibly from the cracks in his makeup. And then down here you can see his clown nose. Here are his eyes. The eyes actually look really creepy. They've got like almost a reptilian look to them. And then here on his, um, here is, is his face paint. You will notice that uh, it's not actually face paint. He just ripped his flesh to make it look like face paint, which is a pretty cool, gory feature that I'm not sure you would have realised uh, unless you see this guy in person. And then here's his mouth. His mouth is really creepy very huge and you can see he's ripped his lips as well so that's also really creepy his hair is also really nice it's, it it looks more orange on camera than it does in real life in real life it's definitely more of a darker orange and then you can it has like little strands of green in it and that's to give that really dirty and dark color moving down to his uh neck ruffle it's got some blood on it it's actually made out of three pieces there's one piece here a red piece and then another white piece to conceal that and that is really nice it also has blood splash on it like i said and that just goes on his neck with Velcro. On his at main outfit, there is, it is two pieces. Here's the bottom piece, and this is the top piece. It has blood splatter on it with two pom-poms located here and here. There is his um, placement for the attachment of the cage. With the top of the cage, there's two attachments. And then you can see on his arms, he has these stripy bits, which go, around, go down his arms, there's two on each arm. And then moving down to his hands, you can see uh, they're also very detailed. They have blood splatter on them as well. And then the fingers have this dark bit in them to uh, conceal the pole. And then they are hollow. And you can see through it there. They are completely hollow. And that's, that goes to the same this side. I did like that they do have blood on the hands since you wouldn't really notice that since uh, it normally covers up like that. But there is blood on the hands. And then moving down to his legs. You, it's pretty much the same thing as his arm. It's got the two uh, ribbons here and here. And then just some blood splatter on his on his outfit. And then down here is his shoes. These are typical seasonal vintage clown shoes. I believe they aren't. They are a little bit darker than towering clowns, uh, but only by a bit since they're not the same. But yeah, that's pretty. That's just as you would expect for seasonal vintage clown shoes. Here's a step pad. That's just normal um, Morris costume step pad. And then his base is a uh, base that folds out on both sides to support prop. As for the cage itself, it's made out of a harder plastic at the top, and then the poles that go down are made out of a cheaper, um, looser plastic to snap into the pins. You can see here there's pins on each side of the cage, or each corner, they have a stronger pole with a pin connection, and that's what makes up the pole. You can see on each side it has a pin connection. And then the pole, yeah, like I said, these poles are just uh, the cheaper ones that uh, make it all go together. And then uh, as for the cage clown's face, here is a closer look at it. You can see the detail. He actually does have makeup as well. You can see his hair here. Here's some of the makeup. His eyes are really creepy. They've got the low eyes. And what I find quite interesting about his eyes is that there is an unpainted piece here at the centre of his eyes, so that I guess that didn't go unpainted. And then here's his mouth. You can see he's got yellow teeth with red lips. Here's his hair. It's just um, uh, glued to the side of his head, but that is pretty cool. His outfit is inverted. It's got red and blue colours. Here's the motion sensor. And what is cool about it is it is infrared, so it will work in dark spaces. Uh, just like all the other Seasonal Visions clowns. And here's a look at his arms. His arms are actually uh, loose, and they're made out of two foam pieces. There's one here and one here. They aren't attached to each other, but that's what gives the arms shape. And then you just, when you're putting the cage together, you slide the pole in through his hands and attach it to the bottom of the base. And that's how his arms attach, and you can pose these to your liking. And then his shoes are also a hollow plastic. Overall, his appearance gets a 10 out of 10. The next factor on this guy is the movement. He has, I think, four points of movement. And that is pretty good for a prop like this because he is a powering prop. Uh, he has a movement in the cage clown. Like, he has a pole that moves. And then so does uh, the waist, the torso turns side to side, which moves the cage. And then his head also turns and his mouth moves. So that is four points of movement, which is pretty good. And yeah, I think his movement makes him come to life. He has a lot of motion in him. I think that's really cool. So overall, his movement gets a 10 out of 10. Next up is the fear factor. This is determined how scary the prop is. And I don't think uh, KG is necessarily too scary. 
uh, towering props are always really creepy because the way they tower over you and loom over you, I think it is definitely creepy and will scare uh, guests at your haunt. And yeah, while he is really scary, I think he's more of an atmospheric prop because he doesn't have a jump scare or anything. It's just more of a to set the mood of a carnival as he swayed side to side. And unlike with like props like the jumping spider, they have a designated jump scare rather when this guy does not, but still a very scary prop. And for a scare rating, I'll give him a five out of 10. The next factor is the durability. And I think that he is a very durable prop. All of his poles are really uh, are reinforced and they I don't think they're gonna break. The only problem I've had with him, well not really problem, but like this pole here, I'll try to get that to focus. Uh, this part yeah, here uh, cracked a bit when I was trying to put the poles in and that's just because of the bristle plastic, but it's really, I, it's pretty much fine. Uh, just you gotta be careful with it because it is pretty uh, brittle, like I said, but as long as you're careful with it, it's going to be fine. You can see here the crack right there, but that's really unnoticeable. You won't really notice that if you're looking at it in a horn. But that's the only thing I've had with him. Everything else is perfectly fine. And then, yeah, so he's very durable. The poles, uh, the metal poles are really durable as well. I don't think you're going to have any problems with this guy. But yeah, so I think he's a very durable prop and definitely one that you want to use in your haunted house. Just make sure not to run him on continuous mode as for like hours at a time as that might damage him, but apart from that, he's very durable. So overall, his durability gets a 10 out of 10. And that leaves us with the last factor for this prop, which is the price. I paid £320 for this guy, which was the full asking price, uh, which is the same amount I paid for Underworld Clown. So it is the uh, same price, but I really, um, I think that is a pretty fair price for this guy. But if you can find a coupon, like I said with Underworld Clown, I definitely recommend it, since he is a great prop and not one you want to miss out on. Yeah, so I think with a coupon, that will definitely help his price. And you can even find him for, like, uh, even cheaper if you get, like, a in-store coupon or online coupon for, like, the online stores that he sold at. He sold at a lot of stores, so I'm sure you'll find something. And he has a really tall, towering prop, and I, it's definitely one that I'd recommend that you pick up for your haunt. So overall, his price gets a 9 out of 10. So overall, this guy scored a 44 out of 50, which is a very high score for a prop. He is definitely one of my favourite props that I own, and he is definitely a prop that I recommend you get. But apart from that, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I greatly appreciate it and it helped me out a lot. And I'll leave a link to my other ominous reviews in the link in the description, so you can check out all of my reviews on props I've done. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next Halloween video.